Today I share with you my Weeble Dividend Stock Portfolio Update. We'll talk about what stock I am up almost 50% as well as the Santa Claus Rally. I would like to shout out Rico Suave Investing. I won this I Am Awesome t-shirt on his channel. He does monthly giveaways every single month. And if you guys have not checked out Rico Suave Investing, I will leave a card above and you guys can check out his channel after you watch this video. I would also like to say thank you so much to those of you who have subscribed to the channel. I have finally reached a milestone of 200 subscribers and hope to reach the next milestone of 300 subscribers um, this month before the month is over. So if you guys are watching this video and it's your first time on the channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, you like this video, and you also leave a comment below. Before we get into the portfolio, I would like to also say in the description below, there is a link to you so that you can get a free stock and I will get a free stock if you decide to join Weeble and once you deposit a hundred dollars into your Weeble trading account then I think if I'm not mistaken you will actually get two free stocks one for opening an account and one for making your first hundred dollar deposit and then I would also get a free stock for you using my link and there will also be some other links in the description so that you can get some other referral bonuses or free stock. So looking at the portfolio, I am at a current value of $1,092.88. I have an unrealized profit of $146.51 and currently the portfolio is up 15.08%. Let's look at the positions that I hold in the portfolio currently. So currently I have eight positions in the portfolio and the first position is HP. I own four shares with a market value of $163. My average cost is $38.27 and I am up $9.91 for a 6.47% profit. Next is PBCT. I have six shares for a market value of $101.76. My average cost is $16.40. I am up $3.34 for a profit of 3.39%. Next is AT&T. I own five shares for a market value of $196.65. My average cost is $37.32. I am up $10.05 for a profit of 5.38%. Next is AbbVie. I own one share. My average cost is $66.45. I am up $18.90 on this position for a profit of 28.44%. Next is my biggest winner in this portfolio, which is Leg and Platt. I own four shares for a market value of $220.20. My average cost is $37.77. I am up $69.12 for a profit of 45.75%. Almost half of what I paid, guys. So the last few stocks that I have in this portfolio is Ben. I own two shares. My market value is $56.56. My average cost is $27.34. I have a profit of $1.88 for a profit percentage of 3.44%. Next is ADM. I own three shares. Market value is $129.93. My average cost is $37.23. I am up $18.24 for a 16.33% profit. Last but not least is Walgreens. I own two shares. 
my market price or market value, excuse me, is $118.48. My average cost is $51.70. I have a $15.08 gain on this position for a 14.58% profit. So if, again, if you guys are interested in starting a portfolio with Weeble, use my link in the description. If I'm not mistaken, when you open the account, just for opening the account, you get a free stock. And once you fund your account with $100, you get another free stock for a total of two stocks. And then I will also get a free stock for you using my link in the description. Before we end this video, please stay tuned because I want to go over the Santa Claus effect with you guys. So before I end this video today, I want to share with you guys something that I learned and heard of for the first time today called the Santa Claus Rally. I am going to allow one of my favorite YouTube channels and the host of that channel, Joseph Hoke from Let's Talk Money, explain to you guys what the Santa Claus Rally is and what we can expect in the market over the next six months going forward. What we're seeing in the market, some signals that you can use to invest and what returns have been like over the next six months. Here's that chart again, research from the Stock Traders Almanac showing the average monthly return on the S&P 500 over more than six decades. You see that rough six months there from May through October, but with the exception of February, the November through April period is usually pretty good. November and December just tend to be a positive time of year as people start looking forward to the holidays and, and those end of year bonuses. And fund managers that might have shifted to cash in the summer start to push back into stocks, which really helps drive momentum. That February weakness is often seen as a little bit of a give back on stronger November through January period, but on average, a good time to invest. Now, the Santa Claus rally is technically supposed to be the last week in December and the first week in January, where those end of year bonuses push stocks higher and then retail sales numbers give the market something to cheer. Other causes might be a slowdown in tax loss harvesting and an investor buying ahead of the January effect, another phenomenon where returns are generally positive in that month. Lately, the rally has taken on more of a general idea to mean just those last five weeks or so throughout the end of the year. Now, all these trends, though, the history of returns by month, the Santa Claus rally, none of it means anything, though, without looking at those market fundamentals. You remember last year, we saw that huge market drop from September through the first half of December, so you can't just take this historical data as gospel. So if we look at some of the signals in the market right now, we actually see a pretty good picture for at least the next six months. The Federal Reserve cut rates for the third time in a year at its October meeting, and, and history shows that it's set up for decent market returns. This is a chart by LPL Research, and in three other occasions when it did this, stocks were up 10.1% over the next six months and 20% on average over the following year. Even better, though, is that Chair Powell said in that meeting that rate hikes would be pretty much out of the question unless inflation really took off.